free fall is always a little dodgy because if you play a team game or duel you can always be sure that your opponents should have like a very very similar way to middle even if you play a 2v2v2 2v2v2 or 2v2v2 2v2, or 2v2, 2v2, 2v2. <laughs> um because if you then play on the balanced map like we will have the same part of the map and therefore also the same way to the middle basically in a free for all that can be very rng heavy let's see stack clan on new patch played him a little bit better but a few things were different back then um I think the altar change ran completely through then. So, just in case you missed it at the start of the stream, oh, the altar has been changed. Yeah, I ran a little bit through. Hello, Katze, what up? So, the altar will now only give you resources when you are over 200 fame. Uh, from 200 fame, we will get plus one production on the altar. And then every 200 fame threshold will get plus one more. And what I would like to find out is actually if there's a max on it, you know. <laughs> it's not too important for team games. I get feeling. In free for all that could get pretty dangerous. I will see. Stack, what a villain. <laughs> the stack strats. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. Just thinking about who would, who would have a stack emote, man? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Let's see the stack strats. If we can bring them up. Mm. Also, the altar costs 15 stone now instead of 10, and therefore hero emblem will still force me to get it. This is not the middle, is it? I'm kinda cut. What isn't the worst thing in a free fall? So, ah, I still got house though, not too bad. Definitely gonna have a shot at mid. But I, I can't really imagine that somebody has a similar spawn to mine right here. <laughs> I have no clue. I'm just gonna go for this here, even though it's very probably not the middle. Like it looks like Fawn's Wrath. House Ah! <laughs> what she gonna do? What she gonna do? Uh, oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is a two tile. <laughs> okay, I need to rip it on later. This is also a two tile, I knew it man. I knew it. They always come in packs. They no one never come solo. They come in hordes? I have no clue. This is already another player right here. <sighs> come home. Come home guys. <laughs> I have no clue where the middle could be. Um. So, without the middle it will be hard to get a good feign time. Especially since I basically still got the scout timing as if I would have gone for mid. But we get free sheep. And I guess this area shouldn't be too hard to clear out. This is definitely nice. Also free food tiles. Like free, free, <laughs> free. <laughs> uh, but it's nice, very nice. A stack. Mm. 
Mm. So a circle. Uh, ain't, ain't that shabby, man? Ain't that shabby? Could really do something here. Mm hmm. A tree. Let's pull one back and I think I need it. I need a feast pretty early. That's a really bad time. But it's kinda needed. So get stone production. And yeah, I can just let a villager build the feast is actually only for fame basically. I don't really do it to get a better food uh production up. It doesn't really matter if I have one will building right here. Let's get more wood though. It'd be pretty nice to have. Hmm. Why feast? I wanna reach 200 fame really quick. This is basically the most important thing for the stack to actually hit it in a good time. Because mm. it can ramp up from that moment. Otherwise, uh, the boom will just work as usually. It's just like you're not gonna have. Uh, a good timing on it. It's basically, I think it's the main thing about stack that you have a good timing on it. Uh -huh. Since most of the bonies really get into play if you reach your 500 and now more than ever you really need a really high amount of fame because your altar production also is on it so you really want that <laughs> I'm not too sure which units do you mean da -da -da -da. city builder got nerfed uh, da -da. as far as increase but had seconds Ah, instead of 10. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Uh, ah, yeah, he slowly regenerates. I don't know. I think they are pretty enough. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, the War Chief heal now works different. I didn't saw it myself, but if it works... Damn it! That were hurtful. Man, I'm gonna have a bad start here gonna have a really bad start here they were an anal coffin <laughs> I don't have that good of a lore right here um, don't know what that were but uh, I need uh, the eradication fairly quickly so I can get a lot of bonies out of the food preservation I guess it's not the worst thing since I have the a circle right here. I can then already build silos, not upgrade them, and get a little bit of bonus out of there. But it would be really nice to take advantage of that. So colonization is definitely the wrong pick here. Also keeping in mind that I already took so many tiles. And yeah, uh, Torfin now doesn't instantly get the 10% heal, uh, and he rather gets it over a set amount of time. And even though that you could lose fights still against the Orcs very much because you're focusing the War Chief before when they are already 
like killing your units. Uh, you will kill the war chief though, I'm pretty sure. Because the war chief were only kept alive through the insane amount of heal that he were getting. Because the bigger the armies got, the uh, faster the ox army could also kill units of you and therefore heal the war chief. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, especially in team games, the provocation button is will basically kill your war chief if you use it in really big fights. I can't really imagine if he will. Like maybe he survives this, then it's definitely still OP. But I got a feeling that he will fall much easier than before. And it's basically like you kill the war chief that costs 250 gold and 15 iron. It's not like he's gonna bring it back like this. And even a 5 iron, 150 gold war chief. It's not nice to lose. Um. So I guess it will definitely help a bit if it is the cure. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I think they actually nerfed the most important thing of the army what is Torfin? I don't know uh, like I don't really think that the warriors are all too insane mm. go for those And yeah, also military uh, city builder got nerfed to 10%. Uh, what will definitely hurt? Like the higher the percentage there is, the more you can obviously do with it. Hmm. Five iron more. We still need more. Let's say yikes. Mm. How do we get more? Waiting for the next lord seems rough, but it might be the only way. Uh, yeah. Feast into another upgrade. Very, very costly. It might even be the best way I have right now. To actually get a feast in, a, in uh, an altar in an acceptable time. Also, uh, to have the eco set up. To get this, I can, I can get up the silos. At least these both are ready, then I go for the iron here try to get it done pretty quickly so I can set down the next uh, one it's not very fortunate for an stack to have two two spawn tiles because they're definitely one of the clans would want a lot of space but I get one more tile right here I guess the general tile amount doesn't look too bad for me rip altar definitely for a lot of clans mm. don't think it's too bad though since a lot of clans will it were basically just build altar, right? <laughs> like, you don't want to set an eco up with any clan? Just just rush altar. <laughs> you don't need to learn the clan, you just need to learn how to rush the altar. And then you were basically set with all clans. Um, well, not for rushy games though. But for games that took a little while. We're definitely not too bad off with doing that. Okay. So yeah, not too heartbroken about that. Would just be nice that it works for the clans that are using the altar though. That's why I definitely want to try out stack and board today. With war I have another idea, but we'll come to that later I guess. Uh, because those clans just need the altar. Because yeah, they stack, you want food preservation, you don't want medicine, so you're gonna stumble over a hero emblem. 
We want to take the lore and take nothing out of that? I don't think so. It's a really bad altar timing here with a... There's the middle, okay? Yeah, I couldn't even have imagined that in the slightest. <laughs> this right here. I uh, read the map completely wrong there. Mm, so when the altar goes up, we're definitely at 250. Yeah, it is a free fall. Also want to check out right now uh, if there is a max on it. Or if I can just go, go, go forever. Now I get it. <laughs> hey Falls, what up? That's a little weird. Mm. The wolf definitely right now. More for one trick pony. Like you can rush forward and do the conqueror thing. Like go four floor conqueror, you know, and then try to have your team going in. I don't think that's the worst thing, it can still be very effective and I don't know if there's like such an exact counterplay in besides of just going bare or something, you know, something that's very very good to defend. Uh, but if you play against Wolf you know what's coming. You definitely know what's coming, so that is definitely kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know, only for stack. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't play boar like that. Boar definitely doesn't rush altar anymore. That doesn't make sense for boar. Mm. The only thing that I could imagine that you try to make something work over handiwork, like first get your handiwork rolling and then later on go into legacy love. But we basically did it before. Um, I still don't know how that really gives you more fame though. <laughs> yeah. What up, my nuts, man? Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, the wolf could have definitely used a little bit of uh, love there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so relics seem to take not as long anymore. Didn't you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can imagine. You don't really get fame on boar. The only thing that I hope for is that you maybe are able to get a little more tiles with handiwork. Like your eco is going to be better, I guess. It's hard to say. <laughs> we'll see. Like a general eco, I don't know if you end up like with more resources than you would have otherwise. Tell you, Jay. Maybe. I can't fight. What am I doing here? What am I even doing here? It doesn't help. Need to build all the stuff anyway. Um. The thing is, like that, the change. I think is meant to do also, is that rushing altar shouldn't be a thing anymore for bear getting an altar is a different thing than rushing altar i think rushing an altar won't be worth for um bear because i don't think any clan can really be at the amount of fame that i'm right now uh with stack i don't think they can compete like the stack is the clan that you look here and he's here already with the fame bar in 801 and you say, okay, that doesn't even surprise me, it's stack. I would have 50 more fame if I would have gotten middle now, too. Um, so, yeah.
The stack can have a lot of fame really early. I don't think other clans can do it as good. But it still might be worth to build an altar as bear. Like you first go up, um, do your normal eco build. And then if you want to have more eco, you maybe build an altar later on in the game. The thing is, if there's already aggression going on in the game, it's hard to have the 300 gold and uh, wood spear. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. But I got full buff. This is actually kind of scary. We're really strong before already. And we have uh, two Redmonds in the game. <laughs> Doesn't make uh, sense in a free fall though, Nigel. But yeah, in general, it is uh, also the more beneficial strategy. Building an altar makes you vulnerable. Uh, rushing your opponent will force your opponent to rush, basically. They will also need to play in rush build to answer your rush build, basically. I don't know why people don't do it that often. Mm. I even tried to make some rushes work in 1v1. Like not long ago, <laughs> a few weeks ago, tried to find a few builds with that might be possible, but like the snake, of course, snake can do stuff, but the others, I don't know. Let's go for value. Mm. Oh! Holy moly, that sounds actually broken. Like you are v very vulnerable to rushes, but there are free for all games that you can just lock down with that. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna try it out right now because I just wanna ramp up in fame and not rush a relic and then just get gold. That would be a build that would end me up at maybe 700 fame or something. I would in the end just let the altar be like it were before. I want to check if you can actually have the altar even stronger than before. <laughs> what did they change, damn it? <laughs> you can check in my Discord and in the Northguard Discord. They are both links to the patch notes. In the patch notes channel. They changed too much to now say it like in two words, like too much changes in there. Uh, but the altar only gives happiness now for every 200 fame. Oof, gotta open Discord. Yeah, it's gotta, gotta be permanently open. No, I'm just kidding. Not an, not an advertiser of Discord here. Hmm. <laughs> So behind. Love to already build skulls and everything. Upgrades, straight upgrades. Don't want to have my merchants in here with nothing. I also want my scouts. And I want scouts. How is that even possible? It does. 
Mr. Piotronic. I just showed it right here that it says plus one, plus one, plus one for every 200. But if I go right here, it does give me plus two. I want to find out if we can get it to plus four. <laughs> or plus, plus 16. We want to get over 9,000 fame. I need skulls. Why do I even build merchants then? Doesn't even make that much sense. Like I really want to overdo it a bit. Like maybe even run nine skulls. <laughs> Man! <laughs> I have no space. I'll just stay. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, honestly for stack. Or any other clan that rushes gold. Not actually the most important. Like that, that that is what they will get up, like you will always have to. Like that's usually how I did trade rush in free for all games. Like with dragon, boar, stag, raven. Like with all the clans I just try to just build two trading tiles and completely go for it. Because that will roughly give you plus 40. But the question is how much gold were you able to bank up <laughs> and how much warband were you able to bank up? Because sometimes if you really rush it through, like eight warband and two three hundred gold can be the defense man. <laughs> you just sit them all in the town right here, the guy comes in, he just wants to kill you because he thinks you have no army because he went full trade. And you just have a few warriors, a few extras and you can actually be able to uh, Defend the attack with your villagers and the little bit of warband that you have and just push your trade win through. Um, I easily get too greedy there, personally. Like that I get the markets up, I just have it running and then be super vulnerable, super vulnerable. Um, if you have a little bit up... Didn't have much access to anything, okay. Let's see, yikes. Um, I'm definitely not talking uh, upgrades here, like you don't need warrior upgrades or shield upgrades or something. Man, just the one tile that I have built, build a war camp in there. <laughs> and yikes, I need this tile very much. I'm gonna develop tiles now. Nope, I'm gonna stop these guys. Then I can build a house here. You, come there. As soon as that's up, the war chief comes out. Oh, I get another one. Yeah, a stack that's really not nice. I think in general two slot tiles are very, very annoying. Of course changes up your playstyle a little bit, but like I said, they never come... It's not like everyone on the map would get a two tile and uh, for him. Uh, and everyone needs to play around a little bit. It's usually like everyone has a pretty good build up someone has two four tiles and one guy ends up with all the two tiles <laughs> like that's usually what i'm seeing and in general of course it spices it a little bit up because you maybe need to tile more than you would usually need and everything you know but just if it ends up like that it's always weird and i think stack clan is one of the clans that get especially hit by it
Yikes, you strong Toffa. You were really strong. I underestimated you. Yeah, sure, C-Max. <laughs> I guess this were the main reasoning this patch happened. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to see the people uh, reacting to Sharon not buffing, uh, not nerfing. <laughs> Mm. The snake is just stronger now? I don't know. How's kiting working? How's kiting working with Signy? It should be very annoying now. <laughs> Daniel comes in. Just spreading his opinion here. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what you do without uh, with the range buff. I guess Snake were generally rather going for city builder instead of legacy. I don't know how that now ends up with ten percent. We're getting infinite skulls there. No. Can completely break it down. I don't think we'll need it at any point anymore. Mm, then we build a scout camp. Uh -huh. Don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. It now regenerates instead of giving you insta heal. It will basically uh, be a hot now, like a heal over time. Can't hundred percently say how much it is right now, but I guess it will be enough to actually make the orcs way more vulnerable there. Vulnerable. I get two more. I like it. I like it. Place in my hands. When I think about it, <laughs> now come on, we go for him. Make it out of a little showcase right here. The X throw has got. Nerfed, man. x has got nerfed. <laughs> Dude, x -throwers. Did you hear that they got nerfed? Just, just that. That's true, that's true. Like the combination of it. Like the taunt is usually also over when the war chief is not living anymore. <laughs> it's also important to count it. And the war chief just didn't die because he perma healed. <laughs> yeah, X has got a, got a huge hit. I don't know. I don't really have tiles around me where I can show how. But you don't want to kite Dragos anymore that much. Of a nerf is it? It is. Mm. A little bit more idea of the map. <laughs> like you can, you can. It's just not fun. It's far from fun. <laughs> It's now super hard. Like it's still possible. 
it's just super hard and it takes ages yeah man. <laughs> takes so long that it's not even really worth your attention anymore because it takes up so much of it i think it's a little sad because yeah, it's basically one part of the game that's just ripped out just ripped out you're like always to think that you could g bring yourself a little bit ahead of your opponent by multitasking what i usually liked in strategy games it's now not really that possible anymore like both will go for a war chief and a few warriors to clear them out and then afterwards heal or something whatever is the most efficient but uh you cannot give you an advantage anymore by by multitasking basically and the one uh, yeah Nothing range would have been enough. That's true, that's true. I think that one actually got negated, right? That's actually like it were before. I hope, I don't know. But like one of the things got turned back, but I think it were the range. No. Doesn't really make a difference since. Uh, the most important thing is that axe throw is not permanently. Uh, can also just say like the. The nerf in words is that the axes basically got a one second timer before the attack, basically as if you would be stepping into a tower. Like you have like one second uh, before they actually start attacking when you attack something. Also when you like dodge away, they always take one second, stand one second and then they start throwing the axe. And X throwers are just like every unit in Northgard will just naturally go around the battlefield like if you have the warriors spread right here of my opponent they're all here in that corner my axe throws are right here they will always take a step closer to the warriors so they can hit the next warrior and after every step they will now take a uh, pause so x throws are definitely uh far off the picture now but i'm gonna go we're gonna do a little final round with them now <laughs> so we can definitely see how it works out but dude dude uh you will most likely not be happy with them anymore yeah it's in the end it's uh not that worse uh I think before the x throwers got that change that they had more resistance uh we're more or less a warrior meta i think that it's basically what it's going to go back to uh that really like in the end dragonkin will shred warriors therefore it's, it's kind of a warrior it's a dragonkin meta <laughs> i want to see it like that <laughs> because the only counter to warriors uh right now are dragonkins and the only answer to dragonkins are more dragonkins. <laughs> so, uh, you can be kind of in a checkmate position if you play against the dragon then. So x throws will definitely not help you against uh, dragonkins anymore in whatever number. Like what I said, that you try to mess the fight up and uh, spread up the dragonkins, that doesn't apply anymore. Like, uh, they will now wait a second until the dragonkin actually hits them. <laughs> <laughs> the the faster dragon kin to to know. Pretty quick dragon kin, not one of those fool ones. Mm. All those two tiles. Mm. Yeah. Axes were before already kind of dangerous since you are always in danger that some player will just go into axe throws, uh, into shields and you're kind of screwed. <laughs> or even shields and warriors, like take the shields, come close to your axes, like they were kind of a bad to go in the axe throws, uh, especially in duels or something. Uh, I also had in team games often that you had combos winning not only, not solely, but... Uh, 
it definitely took a big part that they didn't went for extras and rather had double shield anticipating us to go x throwers and we went x throwers and our x thrower player were basically useless because we were just attacking into i think i were our x thrower player by the way uh yeah we were basically just attacking into shields and therefore um didn't do any damage anymore mm -hmm. I'm getting plus three now you can reach that quicker like 600 should be reachable in a pretty good time basically don't think uh, it's still not rush time <laughs> like definitely not it's gonna be i think somewhere in 802 you can reach 200 uh, 600 fame uh with the stack especially if you get any bonus at the start right did i get a wolf's cave i didn't get a door ran tomb i didn't get a middle I didn't get anything what really helped me in fame too much right here. Besides of free sheep, I don't want to underestimate free sheep, man. Free sheep are very helpful to go for a lot of tiles early. Uh, it doesn't actually change the situation right now, since after you get the silos up, you have unlimited food and then you go for uh, more tiles. I could have more pop though. I just want to go insane scout numbers. Mm, I just want to stack fame. Yep. Don't have a big plan behind it. I just, I just want. I'm an easy man. I'm an easy man. I just want an altar that gives me plus twenty food, plus twenty wood, and plus twenty gold. It's just not, not asking for anything basically. I don't know. People these days are so greedy. <laughs> but hey, perhaps you just gotta turn it down a bit. And just take the strongest altar in the game. <laughs> I would go coinage now, basically. Okay, no. Oh, glory of the clan. <laughs> OP! <laughs> Can't trade me back. I should be cool with the wolf, to be honest. Hey, wolf, we best friends now? Please? My finger today sits very loosely on the develop button, you might have already realized. <laughs> click develop, click develop. It, it still hurts it's not like <laughs> i'm just gonna it's just gonna go around me <laughs> come on man let's go best friends um i could get more pop to be honest i just don't you know what that would mean i would need to develop a tile I'm already developing everything. I could build another house. But it's mostly about um, getting the fame. Basically what we just talked about. I want to get a fine amount of fame. And my skulls produce fame for me. That's why I have skulls. And therefore also happiness of this count. Dude, kobolds, sailors, murka. What? <laughs> Can you, can you stop, baby? Oh yeah, by the way, what I com uh, completely forgot, high difficulty got even difficulter. So... It means you didn't saw it often on that channel, but you will now see it even less. <laughs> I don't like high difficulty, man. So you're just playing against a lot of map and now it got even turned up to 11 like you also have uh, four wolf tiles now around yours we may be also gonna play a game 
Uh, not today, but at some point we'll play a game on high difficulty and just check out how it, uh, yeah, changed. <laughs> <laughs> Not even extreme, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, I'm pretty sure that extreme Ragnarok will also has also been turned up. Not sure though. So I'm highly interested in this. Oh yeah, we are axes. To go bloodbath axes. Can't really. Guess I need the war cry. But even the war cry, like the units will run away from my axes, and my axes need to hunt the people, and then always take a one second break. I guess, right? Yikes. No, you. Yes, C Max, you do it. Customize my channel points. I expect a list until 10. <laughs> Your salary will be poor, but I can pay you with scouts and happiness. Not even reached 800 yet. But we are on our way. How much fame did we get through scouts right now? 160. Not even that crazy. Yeah, in scouts, man. <laughs> we'll see what the first one will be. Yeah, getting the fame win here, by the way, is fairly unlikely. 14 tiles is hard. I'm gonna add a wedding proposal. That's perfect. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> and 50k is like watching the stream for half an hour. I see someone going for lore. I don't know, 51. And like, it's not close. <laughs> Yeah, true, true. Mm, I think Kraken doesn't really do something too special like Kraken does. What Kraken does and gets the lore. <laughs> like, you can build a few more trading posts and then you do even more what Kraken does, but you still just do what Kraken does. So <laughs> it's basically like Raven, you know? I always fought with Raven. I think they're like the most dangerous, dangerous in lore win. Because they just get it. They don't really think about it. They just do something. And suddenly they have 60% fame win. <laughs> well, just doing what they do, basically. <laughs> it's a cool thing with Kraken too. Well, you do what Kraken does, basically because Kraken isn't... Uh, that strong in lore otherwise. Like you couldn't even get Sailors up or something. Perdition had four trading routes and we are like 24 <laughs> floor. That's nice. <laughs> well, erudition is kind of changed right now, right? I don't know if it were just the number hiccup, but I think I rushed the game on lore. I'm pretty sure that the number that was set in better is at 40. Holy! In the patch notes, it is definitely different though. There's still uh, 20%. It's interesting, though. It's actually quite interesting. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it says the normal lore text in the um, balancing patch. Give me a second. Uh, not really going too much in the game right now, anyway. Since we're just rushing theme, I don't find it. I don't find it. Increases lore master production by 20%. First, first, first carved stone is free. So I think this is the. I thought that were the lore text, basically, right?
That is now their addition lore tax, that's what I thought. Not. They will increase it. Because then you would also need to add that you don't get halved carved stones anymore. Side Zito, I'm not looking for fights. I'm looking. Plus four, it actually works. Ha! <laughs> now! Ultimate power! Unlimited power! Then, the, then Google it, man. <laughs> nah, we, we will get uh, active here. <laughs> like, but if I want to see something, Google picture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even find the horse, man. Like, the only player that I would think about attacking right now would, of course, be the horse. Because he is pretty far away. He could have actually gone for warrior upgrade, too. That's not too bad now. Gotta chill, man. Want to get a little bit for feast, honestly. Let's get a few in. Let's see if that is already enough. I need a new tower. That's why I got this. See what I see. Perfect. Let's show you now. Hide his cookies. We can't forget about that. Now, if you don't hide your cookies from me, we can have all peace. We're best friends, man. Yeah, just share them cookies. But if you don't, oh, oh, oh. so new access. I guess you can see when I press X. Huh? Yeah. Have your mean out of. Wow! This is great. Uh, much. <laughs> Feels great, huh? Click anything, like you can't click this whole thing, you can't click that. <laughs> Yikers. So Hello.
not even closely acceptable army for this point of the game to be honest I need to get my scouts back I didn't really plan on fighting right now Axis, man. Mm. We will have another fight pretty easy, actually. Scouts are coming home. Yeah, I didn't add the full numbers of axes right there, but I could already see <laughs> how they behave, man. <laughs> didn't look good. <laughs> didn't look healthy for the X player. For the X player. Guess if you like warriors, it's a very welcome change. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, that's GG. <laughs> It is over. Okay. <laughs> du, 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 du. That's no chance. Like if two players do something like that, then <laughs> I weren't really like I could fight. They were not the problem. I were ready to fight at some point. Um, the horse is the big benefit. <laughs> the one who benefits from all this is of course the horse who's just winning uh, lore from this on behind. Uh, he's also winning. Ah, okay, okay. It is halved, it is halved. It's just still so strong. Like I always said, let, let's ramp it up. Just ramp it up. Let's start it really slowly, like really with a little bit of damage that you can't really see and then slowly get it up because as soon as you have 20 army in there you just need to lose 50 percent of the health bar and you lose lost half of the army basically <laughs> I don't really want to stay in that here. Like I'm basically just alive because of Piraten who decided to not kill me and I don't really like to stay in games like this. Uh, he just spared me, you know? <laughs> like, doesn't feel good. <laughs> doesn't feel good at all. Could have completely killed me now. Would have been 100% logical. Uh, I had 8 pop. I, I live now because of mercy and that's why, like, I don't know. Does that feel good? I should be out of the game. Why am I still here? If I win the game in the end, does it feel like a win? <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's still that. Like, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> At all. <laughs> like, I just lived because somebody else decided to. I don't know. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> don't really know. Go that. this slaughterhouse you saw how many axes and how many warriors that were <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen axes I count on the floor right here. <laughs> there were eleven warriors. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> the axes were already in the tile. Usually uh, axes were... Uh, yeah. Way higher noted than that. Mm. Kite mechanic is that indeed, indeed. Can't really do f something with that anymore. Like you can still do it, you just can't do it nearly as often. And uh, yeah. Like he already, he still had the timing in when he microed right here from the old axis. So he always stopped it. That's why Dragon King are in Yeah, it's true. Noted that in the stream before already. In the very game. <laughs> so we'll say the same thing again. But yeah, I can. It is. Axes get countered by shields. Warriors get countered by dragonkin, and dragonkin get countered by more dragonkin. The joke didn't get better, <laughs> but it's still very true. Hmm. It still doesn't feel good to being at the mercy of somebody. And just being alive because somebody didn't feel like killing you. Mm. Nah, you can't do that, man. You can't do that. <laughs> Alter bonus, please. Should be plus five now. Yep. Unlimited power. At least with that, we can still play around. A horse is running. Hmm. Can't send scout outs.
need to fight purple well i don't really think we can do too much about that anymore mm. i think it's actually mostly about me like definitely it's mostly about me that i don't feel good about situations like that because I get used as a tool. Now a tool for Piratenhood to work against the other players. Because the horse and the dra Kraken and uh, the Raven are winning now. No, no, no! Ah, uh, with scouting I'm too late. Should have scouted. Like I were scouting! <laughs> Purple, to be fair, I needed to call my scouts back to fight. Oh yeah, that's it. It's nice to see that the alter bonus kicks in though. Uh, like, doesn't max. I don't know if it's nice to see for free fall games, it's definitely kind of broken. Hmm. Too hard to say. The, the boar will now end up with. Basically the old boar, but late, late. I'm gonna try that afterwards. This must be his main. Yeah, I gotta say that too. Like, I didn't like the altar meta. That's what I uh, think said at the start of the stream that it's for basically just like, um, you don't want to learn Bear Clan? Bear Clan is Bear Clan too hard for you? No, no problem. Just learn to rush altar, and you can play Bear Clan. You can play Stack Clan. You can play. <laughs> you can basically every clan were playable with early altar. We're not always the best choice, we're not always the strongest to go to, but it got playable with just rushing altar. Um, universal answers are of course not nice. I well, sometimes can't really get around it of course. Can't share my clip here, haha! <laughs> yeah I gotta, like you cannot allow links here like that i would allow links for everyone and then you would have all these stupid idiots that you now can't see because they do it in my uh they now write me privately then because they can't post links in here they like bots that approach your chat and spam bs in there with, mo with most likely some viruses <laughs> behind their links and yeah rather block that then i guess <laughs> well maybe maybe did you, did you send a cv in <laughs> i guess mm. Golden Kraken is still, but I don't know. <laughs> when still trading was the way to go thing. You still do that, to be honest. Like, it didn't change that hard, to be honest. Can definitely still make that happen. It's just not that easy also anymore, because I need two lords. Hey! <laughs> Dano with the uh, with the bot macro. I like it. <laughs> beep 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 beep. No.
But the messages that I were talking about are usually people like Hey, you wanna buy followers? You can buy followers now on totallynotbots.com Uh, <laughs> kill blue for the lols. <laughs> Why not? Should have killed me! Should have killed me, man! Now I'm here! <coughs> Snuff guard things. How dare you keeping me alive? Now you die. In the lead still. Definitely one of the better fights I could get because the axes never need to reposition. reconvert back I think that were um <laughs> okay boys fight lost come on get some food <laughs> but I also had that when I had uh, the dragon defense in a free fall that I needed to um like convert them back because I was just straight up starving like they will not gather anymore and I was just so in minus feet that I would just have died doing that mm, yeah GG well played everyone a pretty nice one didn't have too much to do with the win race right here even though it might seem like it I were really not aiming at all at going for fame like I had seven tiles I uh, think in my prime they were my prime I never had more than seven tiles <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I got the 8th and then I got attacked right away. So yeah. See so many players actually going for lore, having quite a good... I didn't really do so. Quite um, amazed that I have 52 right here. It's crazy. I can definitely see how the extra has got to be big hit. Like, uh, I just won't go for them. Like, you won't see them that often anymore right here. I don't know for what situations you might still go for them i don't know if they maybe make a dual still stance like to trigger military strategy i guess they're still very much good enough for that uh, to then also get a little bit of dps out but they will most likely not be the the go-to unit for any clan anymore i guess don't really know you just get shredded by warriors you just get shredded like i don't really see why you would go so like x throwers should work against warriors that's the only thing they actually worked against uh, against shield bearers they are countered dragonkins haha <laughs> <laughs> yikes uh for ring red blue and red ah yikes man <laughs> well we're a nice one we're a nice one 
I didn't actually have too much going for my side, couldn't actually see what we're going on. <laughs> Nana. That were my second army man. Like we were uh well it's not too bad in the end. I just it just felt weird that I in the end then didn't get killed by blue because they were my second army. That were not the first one, they were my second, but means as stack that were all my pop. They were all of my pop. Like <laughs> we can look let's at look at the statistics here. Really quick. Look at the population. And I took the hit right here. And there's your thunder. <laughs> and I go down to single digits. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, after that point there is no coming back. Like I came back but just because blue didn't decide to kill me there because he fought. Uh, he could y rather use me to go for the other ones. Uh, well it's not a bad idea. I just played too many free for alls to <laughs> get used as a tool when I definitely don't have any chance of winning anymore. And he could have killed me. <laughs> then I just like think always okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. You need to kill me next time. Don't be nice to people. Why, why are you nice to people? It's a free fall! <laughs> this is disgusting! <laughs> that were very nice from Piratenhut there in the end. Very nice fault, but um, especially because I were trying out the stack a little bit and he might actually saw that. And so I got the chance to go for the 1000 fame here. Mm. Just yeah, kind of. I'm, I'm not nice. <laughs> Kept going from it to you. Okay. So I missed first convert. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, they were basically just my stack throw uh, army that completely got destroyed by a few warriors. <laughs> I didn't have so many though. It's true, it's true, Bennett's man. Like, it's pretty insane how much you can actually get with that. Um, it's just not very... Like in a team game, it won't really get... It won't really matter. I still think though that the stack can do stuff. Mm, also in earlier times like you get the altar up you need five more stone this is true five more stone doable <laughs> my opinion then you start with plus one that hurts indeed that hurts quite a bit uh, but you will be at two production in 801 very likely and in 802 you should actually hit 600 fame normally. I weren't doing too good on fame right here. You can have better spawns there. But I feel like 600 at the start of 802 even. Or like in the mid of 802. Start of 802 is a really good start. I think mid of 802 you should be able to reach that man. I oftentimes hit fame in the first year. In the second year. Like in 801. That I not feign, um, y'all can definitely hit 500 fame in the second year. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> to go for his law title of Bertie Yeah, also random. <laughs> Basically, like, you left me alive. Could show you. Could show you. If you. If you got the roach cornered, you gotta you gotta step on it. You got you gotta step on it. Or he's gonna come back with his whole roach friends and he's gonna eat your lunch. He's gonna eat your lunch. <laughs> with that we're gonna jump out. <laughs> we're a nice game, we're a nice game. <laughs> yes. <laughs>